Hello beautiful people and welcome back. Today I share strategies of how to make money from your kitchen. But first, be inspired by this amazing story. I had was $5 to my name. How far can a $5 bill take you? And absolutely no baking skills. Mignon Francois transforms her $5 bill into a $10 million cupcake empire. And I've been flipping that same money for the last 17 years into the tune of over $10 million in cupcakes. I was tired of being sick and tired. And I had heard the man on the radio say that you could get out of debt by having a bake sale. Yeah. Problem with the bake sale, mm. I didn't know how to bake, not even out of a box. Yeah, so I was practicing making cake because I believed that I could use that in order to get my family out of debt. So I started practicing my craft because I believe that all you have is all you need to get you from where you are to where you want to be. So guys, I hope you were inspired by this amazing story. It inspires me each time I watch the video. It's exciting to know that all you need is what you got. And that's where creating a strategic plan comes in. So family, today I'm going to share some strategic business plan to help you convert simple recipes to high paying products and services. I'm going to use my past two recipes as a case study for this business model. So you want to check out those videos if you haven't seen that already, it will be linked down below in the description box. So in this scenario, you can make money by selling the finished product directly to your customers. You can also sell the dry mix. I call it the all-purpose dough mix. So this is our non-yeast dough that can be used to make a variety of delicious recipes like egg rolls, fish rolls, sausage bread rolls, quick waffle bread, flat bread. The possibilities are endless. So guys, for this strategy, the focus will be on educating your customers on how the product works and the importance of having the product as a staple in their pantry. So your target customers will be working class mom that have little or no time to meal prep, as well as health conscious individuals that are interested in knowing the list of ingredients in the product they buy. Now this will be the competitive advantage your products have over similar products in the market. All right, so once you've decided on what direction to go in terms of the product or service to offer to your customer, uh, we'll be talking now about launching the business, but I would recommend a soft business launch first. So what's a soft launch? A soft launch is where a new product or a service is launched to a limited customer before the official launch of the business. This is important to get feedback as well as identify potential issues and make the necessary improvements before the official launch of the business it is a strategic move that ensures the success of the product once launched with this the customer feels heard and part of the brand so guys it's worth mentioning that your customer is the core to the success or failure of your business so product branding for an enhanced customer experience and customer service should be treated with utmost importance quality products and services should be developed that meets and exceeds your customer's expectation this is a very important point guys this should be the core of your business your value system all right family that will be all for it today if you want more information on this don't hesitate to drop it down below in the comment section we've come to the end of today's video i hope you absolutely enjoyed watching if you did like the video drop a comment and thank you for always watching and i'll see you in my next one bye